It's time for our greatest hit. Today's a little different because we may have the literal greatest hit ever in human society. It's just a, in uh, just a few moments, NASA will attempt to slam a spaceship into an asteroid nearly 7 million miles away to change its course. The DART spacecraft, about the size of a vending machine, will be flying 14,000 miles an hour when it slams into Dimorphos, a small moon the size of the Statue of Liberty, orbiting the asteroid Didymos. Now, little Demo isn't actually a threat to hit us and we won't destroy it, but NASA wants to try and nudge it off its course just in case a future asteroid is headed towards Earth and we are prepared to defend against it. Joining me to help watch this live, you've heard their words, now you can see their faces, are writers Randolph Terrence and Leon Scott. Let's watch it go down right now. All right, here, here. Now here you see my man, Dimorphos and Didymos. Oh! Oh, I thought, it was, oh, it's a split screen. I thought, I thought it was about to go down right there. I was like, oh, we literally no. got it just in time. No, it's coming in close. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here we're going to see it. This is, it's on. I can see, I got a good shot of it. This, this is very, this is like watching Commodore 64. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like old, old school video <laughs> game. Yeah, just like those old school games. It's like when, it's like, I, when I was in computer like science in high yeah. school. <laughs> Learn it, learning basic. By the way, this live feed is actually images being sent back at one at the rate of one per second. Yeah, so that's why it looks like it's buffering right now. But yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is like uh, surveillance footage. Yeah. That we're watching right now. Surveillance, space surveillance. Space surveillance. I love surveillance it. footage or or scrambled Skinamax. It's just about to hit yes. right now. Oh man, I is it? Um, is it? Is that? I don't is know, it? but it's um. It's getting closer I'm told and closer. it's just about to hit They're right now. Up. Oh, here we go. All right, okay. Moment of impact. Well, they're jumping up and down, so. It's like they made it. Oh, they are oh, very excited. Happy. They are happy oh. like, a, like, it's a, like a Super Bowl. So now we have knocked this thing off trajectory. Wow. So Touchdown just scored. Yeah, let's just. There we go. They look like Eagles fans yesterday. They sure yeah. do. <laughs> NASA scientists give it up when they do something right. That's don't true. They, yeah. they give it go. up. Yeah, let's look at the high fives. We have brought oh, back the high five. Brought yeah. back the high five. Yeah, high five. The dual high five. They brought high five. back the double high five. Yeah, the yes. dual high five. I didn't even oh, know we man. were doing that. Uh, NASA, man, <laughs> they in silos. They practice. You know what we messed up is if we send this thing on the course to another planet's thing, and then right. they had now they had to deal with it. So, <laughs> <laughs> like Thanos and them were like, Venus is <laughs> furious. <laughs> Venus, like word. <laughs> I was thinking about that today. I was like. Do we want to catch the attention of whatever aliens are out there? Like, oh, this is what they're doing? Uh, <laughs> an act of war. Okay. <laughs> By the way, the odds of a complete miss was at less than 10%. So oh, right. they just they just celebrated something that had a 90% chance of happening. Okay, yeah, I so think they knew they were going to So this was it. Steph Curry at the free throw line, basically? Yes. All right. <laughs> Pretty much. They are hugging up. They are, they are dead serious. Well, they are I mean, hugging. Yeah. And well, they know it Where's been. the champ? Do the champagne thing. I think Do the <laughs> They got t-shirts. Get the goggles they got the t-shirts. We hit the we hit it. T-shirts. I think I see some gender issues in the NASA of uh, within the NASA world right now. There's a lot of dudes in that room. Yeah, not a whole lot of diversity either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, that's really not. So, uh, so at the end of the day, now that we have seen uh, the collision between Dimorphos and Diddy Moss, just how was it? How would you rate it? Oh, it was it was worth the three hundred twenty-five million they spent on it. Yeah, it was worth the three hundred because because I haven't seen Woman King yet, so I can't I can't rate things because they didn't tell me about the free movie. Yeah. So we're gonna do on a movie rating. How like how would you rate it uh, for movie? Please, this is this was like. Uh, there used to be these movies back in the day, Canon and Golden Globus used to make these bad movies that came yeah. up late at night, mm -hmm. late at night. Bad. Is that is that level just watching it? It was that level. <laughs> okay. it's, it's not. We're not talking about Avengers yeah. Endgame here. We're talking yeah. about okay. it, it was buffering into no. It, yeah, this is a this is one of those like um, mystery science three three thousand right, type movies right. where you have to talk right. over it for it right. to be watchable. Right, yeah. right. right. You it should have been a little the little silhouette of the robot and the dude in the, down yeah. in the corner <laughs> watching, <laughs> making jokes. So what we're saying is this is maybe the level of a black. Blackbuster, yes. like a weekend Blackbuster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't even know if I give it that much because at least Blackbusters you can have a good time with them. That's oh, it was over like that. They were having a great time. Us. <laughs> All right, while y'all are here, any shows coming up? Yes, I got a show every Tuesday at Death Punch in Adams Morgan. Tuesday at nine o'clock. So come check it out. I host it. It's great. Very cool. Yeah, you just get them a podcast. Three guys on everywhere you find podcasts. The word three guys on. Check it out. There you have it. All right. Randolph and Leon, I appreciate both of you guys for joining me and all the hard work you guys do every day. Later, I am dropping the mic on NASA's role in our society beyond just this mission we saw today.